YouTube Opinionative Review here. Bring you guys a video on Spring Tomize 2 for iOS 5 or higher. Yes, Spring Tomize 2, not Spring Tomize 1. It's by Filippo Bigger and it's in the Big Boss repo for $2.99. Now, if you've used Spring Tomize 1 and you're familiar with it, then you probably know it's an awesome tweak. This one is for iOS 5 and it has more features than Spring Tomize 1. One, because obviously iOS 5 has more features and cost things to customize than um, iOS 4 and lower. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and try to take you guys through as much of the settings as possible because trust me, it's a ton of them to, to go through. So bear with me as I go through as much of them as possible. You can see we have animation, capabilities, dock, lock screen, icons, folders, app switcher, time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notification center, and we have more. So I'm going to jump into the more tab first. And in the more tab, you have documentation where you can view a written documentation and you can see what everything does. If you, have a, if you don't understand what something does, you can read that and see. You have system files. And these are system files from like tweaks that you install before like you see IntelliScreen X I don't have it installed right now but it wasn't fully uninstalled so if you want to go ahead and delete these to see if they're conflicting with Spring Tomize you could go ahead and do that you have mobile substrate add-on it's not recommended to tinker with this if you don't know what you're doing and you also have report a problem and reset the default so after you customize your stuff if you want to just go back to default without having to change everything you could just hit reset the default and, and it's gonna reset your stuff back to default your spring to my settings actually not your entire device so now that we've talked about the more tab let's jump into the first tab which is animations so the first thing we have in animation is the custom durations. That's going to be like switching between pages, like going back and forth and stuff like that. So I'll put that up a little bit, put that on. You have slow motion mode. That's really hard to see. When you turn it on, you see what it is like when you're switching between, um, like when you pull up your app switcher and stuff like that. So I'm going to just leave that off. You have vertical app to app. When you switch between apps, instead of going that way, it's going to go up and down. So that's what that's for. You have TV animations. That's for when you turn off, your, you lock your device and stuff like that. I'll put that on. Change it to orange. And I'm going to change this. You have screen flash. You guys should know what that is. I'm going to go ahead and change this one to just um, yellow. I wish they had the, the picture option, like screenshot picture. I'm going to tell him about that, see if he incorporates. And so now we're going to go ahead and reload, and then we're going to hit respring to apply changes. So now that, that my device is respring, I'm going to show you guys. This is the TV animation right there. You hear the noise and stuff like that. The, also, the vertical app to app. Let me just show you guys that. And you double tap, and you go. You see it goes top to bottom instead of sideways. So, yeah. The um, animation, you can see it moves slow, like I was telling you guys. That That's the animation where you customize the duration. So I'm going to turn that off to make sure that, so the video doesn't be too slow. Touch capabilities now, custom capabilities, are stuff like you can disable and enable, like stuff like voice control, multitasking, front-facing camera, SMS, you don't want battery percentage, and more. As you can see from right here, it's a home screen wallpaper. You have to turn this on for these to be to, for these to work. So make sure you turn that button on if you're gonna go ahead and disable or enable stuff like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the dock. Now you have cover flow effect. I, I personally I like the cover flow effect. I'm gonna show you guys that. If you have on cover flow effect, you can't have on hide the dock. They do not work together. Cover flow is not gonna work. The dock is just gonna hide. It doesn't crash or anything, but it's not going to work together, so I'm going to leave hide the dock off, hide the labels on the dock, hide reflection, custom numbers, we're going to go ahead and set that, let's just put it to 10 or whatever, and then we're going to go back out and we're going to respring. So now that I've resprung my device, you can see that I have the cover flow effect on my dock. I don't have any icon labels and stuff like that. I like this cover flow effect. It's nice. You can have, you can have up to 10 apps right there in a cover flow effect. So let's jump right back in to spring to my settings again. 
and we're gonna go ahead and check out the lock screen so you can go ahead and disable the seconds on your lock screen you can sh always show charging and you can always show your wallpaper I like putting these two together they're awesome you can disable the camera button from when you double tap and you want it to show you don't want it to show you can disable that or you can always show the camera button you can hide the top bar disable artwork I guess that's when you listen to music and you can also delay dimming we can hide the knob and we could also put a custom label or you can put time if you want to so let's just go ahead and put turn on the custom label and we're gonna put let's just go ahead and put some emojis in there what's not and then we're gonna go ahead and reload so now you see you see how sexy that looks with when you show the wallpaper plus it's always charging I like that you can see I have my time up here my seconds on my clock and you can see my emojis are inside my dock and the, the thing is also hidden from there as well so let's go back in and check tanko with some more settings now we're going to check out the icons you can hide the icon labels you can lock them if you don't want them to move at all I'm not going to lock them. You can stop the jittering. That's when you hold it down. You want to move them. It's jiggling all over the place. You can disable uninstall so nobody can delete your stuff. Disable all badges. You're not going to see that. Tap to clear your badges. And you can use the custom numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and put seven, seven rows of, of uh, icons. You can also resize your icons. So let me just put... Make them a little bit smaller, and even even in the app switch as well. And you can hide newsstand. That's awesome. Enable custom icons, stuff like that too. So, <laughs> so now you can see this. This actually looks pretty funny. <laughs> this actually looks pretty funny. All my icons are extremely small, and I have seven rows of icons, seven columns actually. Sorry, seven columns of icons, and these are as well. Let me double tap. You can see the ones inside my app switcher has shrunk down as well too. So we're gonna go back in into the spring device. Now we're going to go ahead and tinker with the folder settings. Now we have a ton of folder settings here. You can auto close, you can disable the animation, you can hide the preview if you don't want to see what's inside a folder for folder close box. Hide folder labels, hide the background. Let's go ahead and do um put we'll put um seven lines inside the folders as well. You have to put that on. Display, you can disable badges. Let's go ahead and respring. So now that I've resprung, as you can see, my folder here, I don't have the icon label. I don't have the preview, so like the thumbnail isn't there. And when I tap on it, you can see I have uh, seven, up to seven icons in a row right there. And the animation is disabled. It just opens up speedy fast, and it's not slow like a snail. So let's jump in there again. And we're going to go ahead and check out App Switcher now. So let's go. So you can have App Switcher in landscape mode. Start editing. You can disable paging so you don't have to stop on each page. I'll show you that. Start with the iPod page. You can disable badges inside there. You can put a brightness slider, custom number of rows in each um, on each page. So let's go ahead and put seven. And you can for the inactive stuff, you know, normally they just dim and stuff like that. I'm just going to go and put hide inactive. So if, if they're not active, they're not going to be there at all. So you shouldn't see anything in my app switcher when I respring. So let me just go ahead and respring. So now that I've resprung my device, when I double tap, as you can see, it starts on the, um, the iPod page. That's one thing to note. And as you can see, there's nothing there. Because I don't, they're, they're, they're all inactive apps, but since I have them hide, so I'm going to just go ahead and open a couple of apps right here, YouTube, Settings, and then double tap, and you can see the apps are there now, so, and this is a, this is a brightness slider that was there. So let's jump back over to the Settings app, and we're going to go ahead and check out status bar we're gonna skip time machine I'm gonna come back to that and show you guys what that is so we have a custom carry I could go ahead and put in whatever I want for there you guys can see you have you can put whatever you want for the time bar as well so let's just go ahead and put rain whatever and we're gonna go ahead and you can hide all these stuff kinda like what clean status does where you can hide the stuff from inside your 
your status bar so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just hide hide the battery for now and then I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and reload so as you can see I resprung my device and my carrier now has emoji and so does my time and also my battery is not there so yeah but it still tells me 20 percent <laughs> right on time so we're gonna go back in into the settings app again and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna just play around with pages now now pages is kind of cool it's simple but cool you can hide the page dots you can remove page limits you can also disable spotlights and disable paging so now that I've respawned my device you can see now my paging I can go ahead and just sit between two apps instead of me having to it's stopping by a page it's gonna just I could just slowly and do it like this so that you can see I don't I also I don't have my page dots so yeah spotlight isn't there either so I'm swiping and spotlighting and come on spotlight so yeah let me go back in I'm gonna check out the team in section now I don't have any teams on this uh, device for the dock nor do I have any teams for the battery but if you have teams on your device you can go ahead and choose those the icon labels you can go ahead and change your icon font you go ahead and you select whatever font you want to just select a random font I don't even know how the font looks so how I'm gonna, <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and change the custom size so if I want my icon labels to be big I'm I can change it big or let me just leave it uh, there and I'm gonna change it to green then I'm gonna put grayscale icons but let me go up here to icons and let me take off hide the labels you gotta make sure you do that so as you can see my icons are gray I have that black and white effect and my icon labels are green so yeah so now we have notification center so we have instant clear and instant clear where you just tap the icon you tap the X once it's just clear you don't have to go ahead and touch it at the X then have to touch clear and you have custom lines that's for how if you want to read an entire email you can go up to put 30 lines so if you have an email that's gonna display up to 30 lines of that email you can go ahead and read it same thing with an iMessage etc etc but I don't have anything to read there so you're not gonna see see that now the last thing now that I was telling you guys about is time machine so time machine basically lets you back up your settings so you can see right here we have a backup options I can back up my icon state my wallpaper and my spring to my settings then I'm gonna go ahead I can hit save it's gonna go ahead and quickly save that for me and whenever I want to go and restore to that sentence I could do that so you can create like multiple profiles or whatever and then just keep restoring to that sentence so let me just go ahead I already backed up one before so instead I'm gonna go ahead and restore from that one so what I can do is just tap this I want to restore my icon state, my wallpaper, and my spring to my settings. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit restore. Before I do that, let me just say that you can also enable automatic backup where it's going to back up your stuff for once a day. So let me just go ahead, hit save. I'm going to, ah, then I want to save again. But I'm going to go ahead, hit save, hit restore. And I'm going to go ahead and restore from this backup right here, which was 636. I'm going to do that. After then I have to reload my device and respring and as you can see it looks a bit different I have a different right in here I have all reviewer up there and in here I also have emoji my icons were bigger at this time and it was red so yeah that was my backup that I backed up earlier and if I want to go and restore to the backup that I just backed up I can do that as well but yeah guys this was an in-depth video of spring to my two as you can see there's tons and tons of stuff that you can go ahead and play around and this is the ultimate customization for your device and it's just one tweak so you don't have to add like tons of tweaks to just get one minor setting and stuff like that so yeah guys it's called spring to my two four i was five or higher it's in the big boss people for $2.99. It's a matter of preference if you want to get it or not. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.